In this video, we're going to learn about heat capacity and specific heat. First, we're going to learn what those terms mean, and then we're going to learn an equation that we can use to calculate specific heat. And then finally, we're going to use that equation to solve a problem. Now, as an object gains heat, it gets hotter. This is a relationship that isn't exactly anything new or profound, and you've probably experienced this relationship firsthand when you've tried to eat something or drink something that was really hot and you burned your tongue. Now, different types of objects do not heat up in the same way. We can supply the same amount of heat to metal and plastic, and the increase in temperature they experience is going to be different. Here's an experiment you can try at home. Take some water and get it up to boiling. And then once it reaches boiling, you can put a, uh, two types of spoons in there. You can take a metal spoon and then also take a plastic spoon and place those into the boiling water and let them sit there for about three to five minutes. Now be careful because there is boiling water and these spoons, well, one of them is going to get pretty hot if you touch it. After three to five minutes, go ahead and touch the plastic spoon and be really, really careful as you touch that plastic spoon um, because the steam coming off is gonna be pretty hot. Now it should be pretty easy to touch and it should almost be at room temperature. Now grab onto the metal spoon and you'll notice that it gets extremely hot. This is why we like to stir and cook with plastic utensils or wooden utensils because they don't heat up as easily. Now the reason the metal spoon heated up a lot quicker than the plastic spoon is because of something called heat capacity. Now heat capacity is the amount of heat required to increase the temperature of an object by one degree Celsius. And our experiment proved that metals need less energy than plastics in order to raise their temperature. And so the heat capacity of the metal would be lower than the heat capacity of the plastic. Now specific heat is short for the specific heat capacity. And this is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of exactly one gram of a substance by one degree. Now we usually measure heat in units of joules. And here's the equation we use to calculate specific heat. We use the symbol C, capital C, to represent specific heat. And we take the heat, represented by this lowercase q, divided by the mass of the substance times this change in temperature. This symbol right here, delta, uh, means change in, and the T is representing temperature. So heat is measured in units of joules, and mass is measured in units of grams and temperature is measured in units of degrees Celsius. The units for specific heat end up being joules per gram degree Celsius. So all of this is included as a unit for C. So when we calculate C, this is what we would put next to our answer. So let's try using this equation to solve a problem. So here's the problem that we're gonna solve. It says an empty aluminum can has a mass of 12.3 grams and the can is heated to from room temperature of 25 degrees Celsius up to 48.4 degrees Celsius. It says how many joules of heat was required to raise the temperature of the can given the specific heat for aluminum is 0 0.90 joules per gram degrees Celsius. When I solve word problems like this, I like to underline the given information in green and then what the question is asking me to solve for in red. The next thing I like to do is just write the equation I would use to solve the problem. Since I'm working with specific heat, I'm gonna write down the equation I just learned. And then I'll think about what pieces of information I have. I know the specific heat, that's C. And then I also know the mass here, it's 12.8 grams. So I know this part and this part. I also know the change in temperature. It went from 25 degrees Celsius to 48.4 degrees Celsius. To calculate the change, whenever we see the delta, we always take the final and minus the initial. So I have 48.4 degrees minus 25 degrees, and I get a change of 23.4 degrees Celsius. And so I'm going to be solving for this value right here, this Q. That represents the joules of heat. So I'm gonna rearrange this equation by multiplying both sides by mass times delta t. That's gonna move it over to this side and cancel it on this side. And now it's just a matter of plugging everything in that I have listed over on this side. So I can plug this into my calculator, 0 0.9 times 12.8 times 23.4, and I get a heat of 270 joules. 
So if you learned everything that was in this video, you learned that heat capacity is the amount of heat needed to increase the temperature of an object by one degree, and that specific heat is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of exactly one gram of a substance by one degree. And you also learned the equation to calculate specific heat. That is, you take the heat and divide it by the mass times the change in temperature.